Yep. Back out. Windy. Windy. Do you want to go back for them? This time. It's me and him. Just us two. Just the two of us. Back in the Cheviots. Not so far to drive today. Still a tiny little trek like. But it's windy. We're heading up into the hills way in the distance. See where we end up. But I don't think it's gonna be a peaceful camp. <laughs> <laughs> no. We've got options be, like I suppose. Be a good test. Gotta be quick. to know what one looked like there's your man ping there's one again pause it at this bit all these planes here are all crushed in these hills during the war or actually after the war most of them some of them were just on the way to the junkyard, can you imagine? On the way to the junkyard and crash it. Little memorial. Oh, we've got a long walk. We've done two miles, we've still got another three to go to the border. Be read. He's having a history lesson. Let's have a little pit stop here. We're gonna book this place like we've just seen a snake on the road. I don't, I don't want it. I don't. Didn't get any footage because there was a car came up behind. Well, there's no car for like an hour, two hours, and then as soon as we saw the snake, there's a car behind me. So it just dipped in. I got a photograph. I'll put that photograph up. But, uh, first time I've seen one up in this part all right so we're gonna head well, ultimately we're gonna go up there but we think it might be too wild even for these tents so we're gonna go up to the border ridge and we might end up in the hut or pitched outside I'm sing that song. Uh, we're not gonna come in the hut this time <laughs> definitely put the tents up <laughs> we're just gonna see how the wind is anyway progress right. so we came up there up that valley up the path side of here we went along to the refuge hut there's some people a couple of lads doing the Pennine way it's two set off they're up there just, just about finished it they're gonna do it they're gonna finish it today and the other two there have had enough so they're stopping there they're camping outside the hut which knacked us for doing that so we're gonna press on and go up there it's about another mile and a half we're just gonna put up with the wind like I think you're paying all that money and you're bragging on about oh this tent will take any wind and then you when you try to pitch it you're looking for somewhere where there's no wind <laughs> so we're just kind of pitching the wind the hell about it but it's not much further be there in about half an hour boggy here like Boggy mess. Oh, we've walked for miles. Oh, cool. That refuge hut is right over there. Is it 
one and a half miles all the way up there, steep all through the bog. And now we're at the top of the shell. We don't know where the hell we're gonna pitch. <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't thought it through. Rain's just come. It's a little spit and shower, but it looks like more's on the way. We need to get these tents up quick. Let's get in. More rain on the way, just on the horizon, but after that, it looks quite clear. So we might get lucky. But what a slog up here. Whew. Long way. Oh, I've got to come up the hard way, haven't I? There they are, look at that. That's a canny summit. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. How bizarre. Blowing a gale. Holy. Get in shelter behind them rocks, we should be alright. Ah. Ah, get these tents up, see it coming over. That's the rain. Ooh, there's the tent up, folks. Wow, we got hit by the rain, it came, but we got them up anyway. It wasn't that bad. It's a shower. Quick show around. It's not exactly flat, mind, but inside it's livable. Woo! -hoo -hoo. How are you finding this place? It's alright. It's alright. Right. If, if it didn't rain, it'd be alright. This would be a nice summer, fine summer, can't we? Like. I could put up with the wind because there's a because of the shelter here. This is a nice sheltered little spot. So we could quite happily sit here and have a few beers and just chill out looking over there. Look at it over there. We should have camped on the east coast. <laughs> Wherever we go, we always see the nice weather in the distance and we're just surrounded by black cloud. But to be fair, looking a bit further back, it looks quite blue and clear over there. I think this is going to blow over, isn't it? I've caught that bloody thing all the way up here. What a weight. Mark took the poles, like, so that helped. It's a cut. It's a weird summit, isn't it, for out here? It's like a um, Lakeland Fell. Craggy. Like me, craggy. All right, just gonna make it homely and then get the beer on because it's getting on. It's after six o'clock now. God, we've walked for miles a day. We must walk for seven or eight miles a day. Mark's jealous because I've got more space. I've got more space, but I still seem to have managed to make a right mess. Anyway, I've got um, the beers. Forgot about the beers. Owl Musty Kush Double IPA, eight percent. Oosh. Bit soup, love the soup. That's only that's really six percent, but it's lovely. That favorite, everybody's favorite, Jake Ed. And this one's S43, that's a local brewery. Um, oh, is it? I can't remember if it is or not. And it's called Was It a Car or a Cat I Saw? 6.7. And if you think about it, that is the same backwards. Was it a uh, car or a cat I saw. So it's a palindromic beer. Palindrome. Everybody knows what a palindrome is. Oh, but it seems to have cleared up a bit. We're very happy. And the wind's keeping the midge off. We've got a nice little sheltered spot there in the crags. It's unusual, isn't it? A craggy top on the Cheviot Hill. It's a hill because it's uh we found out it's it's five meters short of a mountain so what we're going to do is we're going to pile all the rocks up we're going to gather all the rocks from the back pile them up on top of there five meters and then it's going to be a mountain when we come down we'll gather some strength all right when we get more strength back after that <laughs> bloody wander christ we'll walk for miles a daily but yeah it's uh it's cheering up so we're laughing it's laughing oh <laughs> What are we doing? We're laughing. Yeah, I know it stops again. Yeah. 
Uh, you can see there's a little bit of rain still coming, like it's still a bit there, uh, a little bit damp on there. This is only the second time I've used this tent. No, I'm Dean. I've set it up, but it's not flat. That's the only thing. Just doesn't matter though. It's all right. So what we've got here is from last week's amazing food. We've just gone back to the dry stuff. I can't bother with all washing up. Oh dear. Oof. It's raining. It's all rain. I mean, look over there. It's still lovely. I think it'll clear up. It's just a passing shower. We're making, the, making the tea while the rain's on. So, we'll get this on. One thing I like about this, it lights first thing, everything. And... Adventure Food Chicken Curry, I've had this before, it's nice. It's probably one of the one of the better ones. I've got me um, stargazing glasses. I mean, look at that, look at the magnification on that. I wonder what I'll see tonight. <laughs> so, welcome to all the new subscribers. You don't know what you've let yourself in for. Been a few, like. Um, I know it's not all about the views, all about the subs, but ah, it's nice to it's nice to know people appreciate your videos. As for the people who thumbs down it, just, as long as you've clicked on. And I get I get a click on. <laughs> Do what you want. It's up to you. You don't like it, you don't like it. It's simple as that. Sometimes I irritate myself so I can see the point. I am a bit irritating. But you know, that's how we are. Right, I'm gonna get this on. And then uh, hopefully that rain will be stopped by the time I've had it. That's boiling already. Just in the time I've done this little video, that's boiling. So it is quite good. Mark, have you had a good night? Oh, brilliant, aye. Has it been good? It's been, it's been fantastic. I'm I've pretty, still got your tea on, like. I'm pretty happy. has been on for five hours. <laughs> it's still on. This is yeah. a slow cooker. <laughs> it's brought it's a slow on, cooker up. It's on the slow cooker, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've had mine. It'll be nice. I'll I'm be ready. Good. I'm ready for my next meal, mate. I might actually have it for breakfast. <laughs> uh, might be ready for that. Maybe. Well, this is a good sort, this, like, isn't it? It's bizarre. I was just saying before about how it's craggy like the lake, so you don't get this often in the Chivit. Mm. It's normally just like piles of stones and knocked around. But this is like proper crags. Mm. I climbed up there before, it was quite scary. But anyway, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> look how look how bright that is, the picture. Yeah. Night laps. It's quite dark though, isn't it? It's kinda of good in the light this in the dark in the dim well, light. Here, no, labor, it was a sheep. 
Oh. They do sound very similar, I mean. They do, I have to sort of, like that twit the woo. <laughs> sounds like a, um, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think, um, oh, it's really cold. Don't think there's going to be much more filming done. Oh, oh. God, God, nice new, the, the tea's got love, you know. Only had two She's beers. Loving the space in there, like. And to be fair, without the poles, right, that, that tent, in the bag, you know, like just the tent is just the same weight as the solo. Like, right. look, it feels it. It's the poles that are heavy. <coughs> just get somebody else to carry the poles. Just get someone else to carry the poles. I wonder who. Right. Who could we get to carry the poles? Because right. well, you know why? I thought I thought we're going to be sitting there. Underneath. The pearls. I right, can get in once nah, once it gets dark. Point. It's nice. Nice night. I thought it was clogged down and rain and all that. We're going to sat in there, plenty of room, you know. Well. We had the option, so right. The thing is, we we were starting a solo before, so it can be done. Like morning, camera tiny high, nothing out. Nah, not even a thing. Nothing. So we've woke up after um, no beer last night. No, oh. me heed. And um, that's about it, really. Not much to report. Nice over there. We're camping over there next time, like. Yeah. Right, look on the east coast and that man. Nice. Bright sunshine. Wind's picked up a little bit. And uh that's about it. Really? Oh, what's happened to me voice? Spider. Spider. <laughs> and uh I'm gonna get the coffee on. Make a cup of tea folks coffee and we're gonna head back we're gonna go that way like we're gonna go over the ridge and then down I right, down flea hope just for a change just to just to make a change from that great long road that we're walking on so I think it's about what it's about six or seven mile back I think we're gonna buy flea hope but it'll be only been with uh, five mile, Aye, five mile on a Sunday morning with a lot of beer in your system. Aye, just the job. Just the job, folks. Job had all them biscuits, yeah, it's a good job we didn't drink any beer, isn't it? Right. None whatsoever. Oh, camera's away. Aye, cups of tea. We stood there drinking cups of tea with our little, with our little fingers extended. Yeah, I say. No beer, no wine, nothing. It's all about the views. It is all about the views. I'm gonna make this as well. I'm gonna have that. Fuel, high protein porridge. Have some of that, just to, like get a bit of energy. I can win a, a, one of five electric bikes as well. So I'll have that. I'll have an electric bike. Neat. <coughs> there we go. Flat grass. There is my flat. That wasn't really very flat at all, was it? That area. But you know, we did pitch in a rain shower. He's left flat grass. Now what else? Poles for getting down. As we're going down the down this hill, up the other side. Right the way along there. Oh, we're going down into the valley bit, like. All oh, right. Oh, we don't have to climb. Oh, that, that pleases me. So this is a good little spot. The shill. Well, I've been after this one for a while, like. Now it's done. It's good top. Interesting. Aye, can he? Very, very interesting. Good for um, owls. You can shelter. You've got a shelter there. A shelter on the other side. Shelter. Definitely, aye. It's good. Any way the wind blows, doesn't really matter to me. And then we've got, the, this is like part of the Pennine Way, all the way over there. So it's a canny place, good. Enjoyed that. Now we've got a six mile hike back, which is already it's all downhill. So if I'm looking rough, I'll edit this bit out. I grab me poles and we're off. Let's go. What we're doing? We're, we're just going this way for a bit of a laugh. Just for shits and giggles. Take a few pictures, 
Yeah. We're right off the path. We've walked. We've come down from there. We followed it. Um, uh, it was a sheep path. So we've ended up on the wrong path. Should be over here. Which we're heading towards. It's all part of the fun. Is there a river of death? Get in. Love a bit river of death, man. Like. Across the river of doom. Through the through the ferns of terror. The ticks of death. Get, no, knock the ticks off. Nice bit of water. I get a bit fill up your bag. Yeah, We've got to be careful because you don't know how wide it is. Yeah. But yeah, we're right, right yeah. off the road here. Yeah, like, love a bit of this way. Love a bit off road. Off road adventure. Wouldn't be drinking that like. And then back up onto the ferns. Ferns are all dying off, aren't they? Right. Dying off early this year. The heather's lovely though. Look at the colour. So when you get out of the long grass and that, check yourself for ticks because they can get on your clothes. And while you can brush them off your clothes, what they do is they crawl down up under your trouser leg. So you've got to get them off. Well, that was an adventure. Yeah. That's the path there, man. Yeah, yeah where are you on it? This is just a fair bit, this. There we go. We're just going to go down there into the valley of death. We came off there. That's the shale up there. We really could. We've walked miles and we need enough. <laughs> we've, took the, we've really took the long way around them. All the way along there and then We're down. Done. A mile up the nowhere. Right. So we've come down down there. The path of tick Ah, it was really high, the burns were dead high. Let me check myself. We're back on this road. This is where we saw the snake. Just snake along past, there. The snake past this. Uh, <laughs> snake pass. Flea hope it's called. A nice little cottage there. Wouldn't mind living there like. And uh, it's really nice here. We're planning on coming along on my bikes. You can pedal along there, right along to past Mount Hooley. And then you can dip in the trees, or there's like little pitches by the river. Be good. Oh, there's a bloke heading up there, look. Ooh, he's now he's getting himself into, does he? Right, so that's it for this video. This is just a long road back now, it's about two mile, two and a half mile that way, back to the car. So we will see you on the next one, whenever that is. Been getting out a lot lately. <laughs>